Hey, welcome and what we're going to be doing in this video is tackling this absolute value equation. And um, it's actually a pretty straightforward process, but um, before we actually do this one, let me do a simpler problem here just to kind of set the tone of uh, the steps we're going to be looking at. So what if I had the absolute value of x equals 3, okay? Or I just went to you and I said, hey, um, absolute value of, one, of what number is 3? So you would probably come back and say, well, um, 3, okay? Absolute value of 3 is 3. So x could certainly be equal to 3 in this basic equation. But many of you also would say, listen, the absolute value of negative 3 is also a positive 3. So you'd be absolutely right, okay? Just quick recall, uh, quick review, excuse me. Absolute value represents the distance a number is from 0. And that's why you have two... Um, numbers here that solve this equation okay because what we're asking an absolute value equation is really kind of asking hey what numbers are three units away from zero well negative three is three units away from zero is so is positive three okay that's why we have both these positive and negative answers so let's go now and take a look at our absolute value equation so we have absolute value of 2x plus 3 is equal to 7. I want you to think of this like this here for a second. Right. That's the way I like to teach this. So the absolute value of what is equal to 7? Right? Absolute value of what is equal to 7? Well, you would come back once again. You would say, well, the absolute value of 7 is equal to 7. right? And the absolute value of negative 7 will also give you 7. So therefore, this 2x plus 3 Okay, if we're saying the absolute value of 2x plus 3 is, is turning out to be equal to 7, then therefore 2x plus 3 must in and of itself be equal to the value 7 or negative 7. All right, and that's is exactly how we set up these absolute value equations. So <clears throat> we're going to say, all right, 2x plus 3, we, we kind of figured out what you're equal to. You're either equal to a 7 or you're equal to... A negative 7. Let me write that a little bit better. And then all we have to do is simply solve for x. And and then uh, we've solved this absolute value equation. So let's go through the steps here. We get 2x equals 4, x equals 2. So that's one solution. And then here we get 2x is equal to negative 10, x is equal to negative 5. All right, so there you go. All right, so the solutions to this absolute value equation, 2 and negative 5. But hopefully, and more importantly, um, you know, I want you to see why we're setting up these uh, absolute value equations in this manner, okay, and why we're getting two solutions. It's really important, especially with absolute value. This is a concept that, uh, you know, you just don't study in a, a vacuum. In other words, you study it, and then you, and it never comes around again. You actually... You, you know, this concept of uh, comes up again in calculus. It comes up, it's actually um, shows up a lot on the SAT. So it's important that you, you know, you understood the concepts and hopefully this video helped. Good luck.